Along with the Tylenol and toothpaste, you'll soon be able to pick up your own do-it-yourself genetic kit. Walgreens stores across the country will now sell a personal gene testing kit. I think that that will be uh, pretty cool. Walgreens is the first major chain to sell an at-home genetic kit. For $30, consumers can buy a kit to help find out if they are predisposed to getting diseases like Alzheimer's, breast cancer, or an array of other health conditions. Pay another $79 to $249 and they get a report assessing their genes. As useful as the information is from a health perspective, some genetic experts worry customers may not fully understand the results. For the average consumer, one of the concerns is that uh, it will provide some information, but to not to misinterpret the information. So as an example of that, if the test were to come back and say that the risk of breast cancer were not very high, I don't think that that's a message that you shouldn't get your mammograms if you're a woman who's 50 years old. Dr. Wendy Chung is a geneticist at Columbia University. She says not only do these tests not provide a full picture of one's genetic history, the kits may do more harm than good. Maybe you don't want to know that you're going to get Alzheimer's when you're 60, 70, 80 years old. The kit is scheduled to be released on Friday, although there is some concern on whether or not it's even legal without FDA approval. Whether it's a genetic test or not, uh, selling a test over the counter uh, without an FDA clearance or approval, particularly for the type of claims that they have, uh, is not, uh, it's, it's not, it's not legal. But Pathway, the company behind the kit, stands by their product, saying it meets federal regulations and is not subject to FDA approval. Pathway also said they are, quote, continuing to have a discussion with the FDA. Walgreens spokespeople did not comment on their decision to sell the kit. But with products like DNA fraternity tests and gender prediction kits already available, it may be hard to argue that the personal genetic testing kit doesn't deserve a spot on store shelves. Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press, New York.